So why exactly is Star Lord Infinity War's biggest villain and the biggest villain in the MCU? If you guys want to hear more of my theory, make sure you guys definitely stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome to Miss on Reviews where I like to review and discuss theories about TV shows, films and a lot more. Today we will be talking about a theory I have regarding Marvel's latest unreleased film, Avengers Infinity War. But before we do get started with this video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new and also turn on notifications. I will be uploading a lot more Avengers Infinity War videos on this channel. And also follow my social media links, the links will be on screen right now. And sit back, relax and enjoy this video. So as you guys know, the events of Infinity War cost us the lives of many Marvel superheroes that we love, those including Black Panther, Winter Soldier and a lot more. But the real reason is, was this Star-Lord's fault? In this video, I'm going to be breaking down what exactly happened and why Star-Lord is so evil. So during the battle on Titan, we see that the Avengers, Doctor Strange and the Guardians of the Galaxy come up with a plan to defeat Thanos and they're literally so close to defeating him but then Star-Lord loses his cool and he does attack Thanos which causes them to lose the fight ultimately. Due to the amazing empathetic powers of Mantis they were able to hold Thanos in place. He literally couldn't use the gauntlet because he couldn't move because Mantis kind of had control of him. Star-Lord asks Thanos where is Gamora and then Nebula tells him that he came back with the soul stone and she didn't. Here this is when um, Star-Lord says to Thanos, tell me you didn't do it and then Thanos is like I had to and he was like no you didn't and this is when Star-Lord starts to hit Thanos in the face with his gun. This knocks Mantis off Thanos and this is literally as Spider-Man is about to get the Infinity Gauntlet off Thanos, it was literally on his fingertips. Unfortunately Thanos did regain consciousness and he knocked Mantis off, he took the gauntlet back from Spider-Man and the rest was history. Because of this selfish act, Star-Lord cost the lives of half the universe. Because he, Thanos killed Gamora, he lost his cool, he didn't have self-control and that's what made Thanos win as he was able to get the time stone from the Alright guys, if you haven't already, make sure to go subscribe to my main channel Missan. The link will be in the description. On that channel I post reaction videos, gaming videos, try not to love challenges and a lot more. So if you guys are interested in videos like that, make sure you guys go check that out. Doctor Strange and wipe out half of all life in the universe. Now I definitely think that in Avengers 4, a lot of characters will get resurrected, I'm not saying all of them, but I think this is where Star-Lord will really have to think about his actions because his actions literally made Thanos wipe out half of all life in the universe. This is why I think he won't be the leader in Guardians of the Galaxy 3 because he's feeling guilt and regret. He might think that he's not worthy enough to lead a team anymore because of his lack of self-control which eventually made Thanos win. Now Star-Lord didn't do it on purpose, he was really angry because he just found out the love of his life was killed by her own father. So you have to put yourself in Star-Lord's shoes but at the end of the day it was kind of his fault. Although Doctor Strange did go to the future, I think that this was actually inevitable because this was the one future, I think Doctor Strange is playing out the one future where they actually win. So in order for them to win, he had to do this to Thanos, he had to make this mistake. He, Thanos had to wipe out half the universe in order for them to win in Avengers 4 where everything will be reversed. So do I think it's Star-Lord's fault? Yes I do. Was it inevitable? Yes it was. Will most of the deaths be reversed? Yes they will. This is Avengers we're talking about, all these characters can't die. Like Black Panther only had one film so he's definitely coming back. So that's my feel why Star-Lord is the biggest villain in Avengers Infinity War. I hope you guys did enjoy this video, if you did make sure to smash the like button down below and also subscribe if you are new, you are on the road to 1000 YouTube subscribers and if you do subscribe make sure to turn on post notifications it really means a lot to me. Also check out my other Infinity War videos there will be a playlist in the description, follow my social media links that will be on screen right now. Take care guys and I'll see you in the next video.